Hey man, coming live from the Burgers WHEI 88.9. You listen to Birds and the Bees. What's poppin'? What's going on with y'all? We back again. It's Wednesday. Birds and the Bees. Hey. It's the last one before we have our two week break. I know y'all gonna miss this. Yeah, y'all definitely gonna miss it, the man. Fat two week break. Ain't fat two week break. Y'all sorry, but it's all good. We deserve it. Yeah. All right. mm-hmm. With mm-hmm. hard work. Shoot. These wow. finals ain't no, these midterms ain't no joke. Been studying. I ain't trying to hear it, man. So sorry, sorry, man. Sorry, man. No, man. Sorry, so stressful, bro. No, man. Don't be surprised if you catch us somewhere sunny. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're gonna say. <laughs> oh, man. Warm and sunny. It's <laughs> night, man. It's Ohio weather. I mean, it's starting to warm up. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't knock the 32 degree weather out here today. Uh, that still sounds crazy, man. Like, think of other people mm-hmm. listening. Talking about some 32 degree weather. That's warm. That's that's lightweight warm for us. That don't make no sense. I've seen a number of of, of tiffinites. I call them that out here in the shorts today. Tiffinites. Man. <laughs> tiffinites, man. Out here in the shorts today, man. Don't wear them anyway. But I've seen a great number. Crazy, like they just like <laughs> immune you, to the cold or something. They got to be something. No, look, look, look. No, man. I even, I even saw the ones that set up here. It had the nerve to have one of the big fat Columbia jackets when they wearing shorts. Oh, when shoot. it's like negative twenty outside. That's funny, man. I, no, don't wear it now. <laughs> it's just backwards. Don't right, get that joint to me. Don't even play around with it. Don't, no, nah, don't even do it, Cos. <laughs> Not me, Cos. Right, y'all silly, but uh, we got some nice topics coming at y'all today. Don't as about, usual, don't talk about the topics. Let's talk about the bangers. Oh bangers? man, you ain't gonna hit y'all bangers. What y'all got, man? Oh, we got Let's some bangers. The bangers. <laughs> bangers, man. We just came with some with some straight bangers. And I don't know if y'all ready for it. You know, we gonna come. We got some old school, some some slow stuff, and some some rap. We got some Gucci in here today. You know what I'm saying? You know I mess with Nuh-uh. the WAP. <laughs> you know I mess with the WAP. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all just gotta listen up. We got Gucci running around here somewhere. We trying to find him. Yeah, we need to find him. Find the Gucci man. Huh? We need to find him, man. I tried to tweet him, man. He wasn't trying to tweet me back. Mr. ESPN himself, man. Yeah, we man. in we I'm in his studio right now. You know what I'm saying? Where he started off at, we trying to get like him. All I need is a plug, bro. Mm -hmm. All I need is a plug. But we're going to go ahead and play a couple of these songs, then we're going to come back with these topics for y'all. Is that what we're going to do? That's what it sounds like. Man, what song y'all want to start with, man? I'll let y'all choose. I'll let y'all choose. Go ahead with it, then. That's a good one. Go ahead with it, your cuz. Go ahead with it, your cuz. Go sign us off. Birds and the Bees, y'all. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Can we do a little bit more? Back, I want to say a week ago, um, you guys heard the story of Christy Capel. If you didn't, it was the news anchor on Fox A who um, used the word jigaboo in reference to music, um, and she got a uh, oh, yeah, yeah, man, she got a lot of backlash for it. Um, she apologized and got suspended three days without pay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was but, uh, Wayne Dawson is a African American alongside of her, and um, everybody wanted to hear his thoughts. And Kendall, you can elaborate on that more better than I can. All right, yeah. So uh, I watched him. He went. He was in a, on a radio show uh, somewhere. I seen the interview uh, on Facebook actually. You know, I'm be thirsty for the Facebook. <laughs> so uh, well, he was a. Uh, he basically was saying that that he he actually didn't hear her say the word until she said it for the second time in the sentence. He said that he didn't like. It did. That's when it actually hit him. He was like, oh, like no. she actually just said the word jiggaboo, and uh, you know, he said. At, during the time, you know, because it was his job, he had to, he had to like, you know, respond to it in a professional manner, which at the time was not responding at all, which was the best thing for him to do in order to not lose his cool or, you know, not get upset during while he's on air. And uh, he said after they got off air, the producer told them like, you know, some the apology has to be done, it has to be done now, you know. And a lot of people were were mad that Wayne Dawson didn't. You know, like respond in a like me. angry manner, or he wasn't like, angry. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't. You know, he didn't respond. You know, in a foul way towards her for saying that to him. He actually oh, smiled man. on the show when she said it. Yeah. Um, and and he was just saying like uh, like he doesn't feel like like Christy Capel did it on on purpose. Like he felt like it was it was an accident because he knows her. He knows her family. Like he does events in the heart of Cleveland, which he was saying like a company comes with a lot of black people. And 
and like he does events there and she comes to all of them and, and her family does and uh, he, he doesn't feel like she knew what she was saying and uh he said that even he had to look it up on the wikipedia to to find out exactly how severe the word was when she said it because his daughters didn't even know what the uh, what it meant or what the word in tick and they were like they're like uh you know like 30 years old or so that's wild. and he was like yeah he was saying that they didn't even know and, and i guess he said christy carroll was like 29 so you know what i'm saying they're around the same age he was just saying the younger generation doesn't understand what that word means and stuff and and that she probably didn't understand when she said it and it might have been something that she heard one day picked it up and just you know just threw it out there as a word to fill in for something she was trying to say she couldn't think of and and you know and he was like he was real he was more you know he was kind of upset at the fact that that people thought that he wasn't you know like supporting his black people for not uh you know for like ridiculing him for not you know step standing up right then and there and he was just saying like you know he gotta keep his job yeah oh, man and that he that uh it's not like you know what i'm saying like the black people are his biggest supporters as far as him being in the uh the news station so you know he was kind of he was he sounded kind of hurt and then he uh you know he said you know you know check my records like i do things within the black community my church is is in the black community like down on 81st street in cleveland and stuff like you know that's where i am the majority of my time that's where i do things that i do my picnics around there and stuff you know you know he said he's real incorporated with the black community so for them to be upset at him for that you know he was really upset and that's basically all he was saying that he thought it was an accident and that you know that she apologized and and he he was hoping that everybody can learn from the situation right and you know grow off of it you know that's all he was saying for real definitely man i can see where he's coming from you know what i'm saying but I, I brought it up i brought up that point that he had to be a professional in, in the midst of what was going on but um my point is i, I can see where he's coming from so if everybody is just on your back about what somebody else said and you're supposed to take charge and be the uh, you're supposed to start a rally, you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be a Black Panther in there, you know what I'm saying? And they wanted him to rise up like that. But he couldn't do that. He still has a professional like life. He has he has a job to take care of first. So he probably pulled her aside and told her, like, you know what I'm saying? He had to like learn the word himself before he even confronted her about it. So it was just a misunderstanding, I feel like. And it was it was good on his behalf to like say, Hey man, don't come in, don't get on me like that, man. Check your stats. Look up know some facts before you come at me talking crazy about me being a I'm saying Uncle Tom or whatever people were slandering for them. I mean, yeah, I definitely, I mean, the slide on top of that with being professional in terms of workplace. I think he, I mean, he he had to he had to keep his cool in order to do, you know, you know, to do what he was supposed to do after the fact. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people were looking for him to jump in and and play the angry black man and you know, and it's just like you know you know go off on the show right there. But I mean, it, it ain't always got to be like that. You feel me? I, I don't think our people should bash him, you know, for all that he's done and how long he's, you know, been such a positive African American male figure, not only in Cleveland but I mean in the United States as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely don't think he should be frowned upon for that. What you think, Abe? <laughs> um, to be totally honest, I really, for what Wayne Dawson said, okay, that's cool. You ain't got to sit up here. You ain't got to throw your track record out and all that. Um, I really feel like he shouldn't keep sitting up here making excuses for her. She said she didn't know. Okay, that's fine. I don't feel like he should. Well, she she should sit up here and say like, okay, well, um, yeah, well, you know, my you know my daughters didn't even know the word, you know. And all of us in this room, when we first heard about it, we were all shocked and we were like, oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I had to look up the word like, right then oh, and there. Wow. Because so I mean, so I could tell y'all the definition just so all of our listeners knew what that meant. Exactly. Even if you don't know exactly what it means, you know it's a racial slur. You know it has You you heard it sometimes. So for her, yeah, to that's just not no no so word that nobody throw around right. like that. You feel me? So for her to sit up here and say, okay, well I've never heard it before, and for him to say, okay, well I don't even know what that even means. That's completely <laughs> absurd. Yeah. Don't sit up here and tell me that lie to my face. Like I told him earlier, I said I wish I could call in and I could have said, okay, well Wayne Dawson, I know you heard that word before, and I know you know it has a negative connotation to it. So it's not sitting and trying to act like. You know, we don't know that. Like, we're oblivious to the whole fact. I got you. Even if you do need to look it up. Still, I mean, just like Juice did, you still need to look it up and know exactly what it means, but you know it has a negative connotation to it. Exactly. Like, but, uh, but, but, how do you, how do you, how do you feel about how he handled the situation, though? Do you think right. he should have? He handled it great, fine, miraculous. 
did whatever everybody else didn't want him to do. What exactly. He did, I, I, but I know had you been in that position, what, had cool. you been, been in that position, not it would have been, yeah, yeah, been over with her. Not going to fly. It would have been over but with her. But you had Chris right on the spot. You had the flame right on the spot. I may I may have I may have pulled Wayne, you know, Wayne Dawson approach and, you know, you know uh, not even speaking right at the moment. But I, but my face totally wouldn't have been a smile the whole time. Like I would have um, acknowledged. Your demeanor would have immediately changed on some. Yeah, I mean because how, I mean, but yeah. I mean because yeah. I mean because how couldn't it? <laughs> how, I mean, but I mean, but how couldn't it though? Yeah, I hear you. But we gotta say this though. It was a Vine video, which is only six seconds. So we only toured like the end of the video. We saw him smirk. You know what I'm saying he definitely did say it twice, and he did smirk, but we didn't know what happened after the fact. And my mom's text me saying that the lady is goofy and naive. That's still not that's still not an excuse yeah. for what she said. I know how however goofy and naive you are, I know you heard racial slurs towards black people before. Like we heard the ones about um the Mexican community, um the the ones about the Caucasian community too. We we've heard racial slurs, we know racial slurs, we are familiar with them. Just us growing up in America, we just we just know them. I know I I mean I know that's really sad to say, but once again, like I said, that there is no excuse. There is no, I never heard the word. I would rather have heard you come and say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Rather than for her to come and say, okay, well, I never even heard it before. I don't even know what that even means. I just, I'm so oblivious to the fact, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know President Obama's even the president. Just, oh, man. Stuff like he that. Took, like, he, took just, it all, he, he took it all the way with that. No. Like she was just playing crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was giving an example. I wasn't saying, like, okay, well, she's a racist. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like I'm giving an example. She's, I hear you, bro. She's playing dumb. Yeah, it's all good, bro. That. I don't want to hear that, yeah, man. man but, all right, so we transition from that a word that to hit some people up, might not. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead. I mean, no. Uh -oh. We got a phone call. Yeah, go ahead, hit this phone. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hi. How you doing? Hey, mom. How are you? I'm calling in. What's up? So, what I just wanted to say is regarding uh, Christy and Wayne. Um, I'm I'm glad that I responded to that. However, if you watch him, I watch him every morning. And I had called him before when I heard this, so I was pretty upset about it. But when I watched it, and then when I actually um saw Christy, and in more ways than one, he she truly is goofy. He truly is naive. He truly might have even said it really not knowing who it was. She, she really liked that. Her personality is like that. However, you know, with that said, I do agree that regardless of the word and her not knowing maybe exactly what it meant, the first thing that came out of my mouth is just to apologize. Regardless, even if it was um, uh, interpreted wrong or how, however she responded to it. So, that's my comment. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Thanks for calling in. Thank Appreciate you. it, Mom. Appreciate it. Hi. All right. You just talking about love her? <laughs> no, I just love you. Can we not love mom? You can't love mom, bro. Is that a problem, man? We love you. It's fine. Can we not? It's fine. She, gave, she gave me life. Of course she did. No, though, but um, we definitely wanted to transition from a word that everybody might not know, like a word like Jigaboo, to a word that should be familiar. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely familiar. And should? <laughs> yeah, it's, everyone knows it. Um, and that's the N-word, so we're going to we're gonna transition to that. Um, how do you feel about the N-word? Should it be used in a regular language? Um, in general, we're not just talking about black people here. Um, are other races allowed to use it? So uh, let me know your thoughts on that. N-word is going through a lot of... Um, hey, man. It's, going it's, it's been controversial for a very long time. A very long time, man. From way back when to where it is today. So um, we definitely should have a lot of callers call in for... Wait, wow, well, I messed up the number now. 419 448 2200. Take your time, slugger. 419 448 2200. Call in with your opinions on the N word. Make sure y'all say the N word and don't say the actual word, y'all. You know Please I mean? don't. Y'all know how y'all love to slip up, man. We Y'all we, we, already know how to go, man. It's a clean show. So please, man, don't act on calling, acting no fool. <laughs> well, well, you go ahead and start then, Randy, since you already. He's so excited. You know, yeah. Man. yeah. He loves announcing his, his own topic. He feels so good about it. Yeah, let him go ahead, then. Oh, man. In general, um, what would you... All right, I'll, I'll ask... I'll, I want to ask the Romans, just as a, as a topic in itself. What do you guys think the N-word means? What do you guys 
say it as? What does it mean to you? You said, what does it mean? You're talking about the one with the A on the end of it. The A? Yeah, oh, the a. oh, oh, the A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, I guess it all depends who it's used by. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, even getting, we ain't even getting into that right now. We're, we're talking, talking about, about you. We're talking about like, a black man. Oh, you. Oh. So, like, if I was to use it, what does it mean? Yeah. It would, I would use it in reference to, like, my friend. Like, like you know, like, yo, what's up, friend? Basically, that's what it. That's what it means. Like, it ain't just what's, friend, up, what's up, buddy? My my dude, my yeah, boy. That's my no boy. But, it, but but it's not just that though. Like you be like, oh man, that tripping. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's not even your friend. It be just a, a person. noun. A anyone. person. It could be a noun. Yeah. Yeah. The term can be used in a lot of different can ways. Can be anyone. I think it could be, it could be anyone. Anyone for you? It could be, be anyone. anyone. Right. I, I agree with saying that it could be anyone. I'm not. We're not gonna limit this term to just one race. You like can. everybody has been doing. Not so. now. Yeah, this. Not now. Yeah, definitely not. Right. not if I was to say like not today. that in tripping, it could be anybody. I got you. I even in reference that to girls too, like females, males, everybody. All right, Avery, what's your take? You you had um you had some some insight on this earlier in the room. You talking about as a whole, pretending everybody using it or what? Pretending everyone using it. Okay, let's just jump into it. Um, let's slide around. Cool, fine. We can't. I mean, it's not. It, I mean, it's not what I'm trying to make it sound like. Uh, it's, it's it's not okay, but it, it's just grew to be a part of our culture. Rappers say it now. I've heard you know the whole the whole excuse about. Dang, Randy. My bad, bro. Kick me, man. <laughs> I heard the whole excuse about. Okay, well, it's a rap song. He said it, so I'ma say it. Um, so now we just can't avoid it. It's just said so much. There, it's just going to be no end to it. That still doesn't make it okay. But I mean, people are gonna say it regardless whether we hear it or not. They still gonna say it. As long as you're not calling me the hard ER on the end to my face, then that's where we're going to have a problem. What's the difference? Um, I think when you look back on it, that one, they both have a negative connotation, but that one has a little bit harder one. Like, it's just, it's just rough. Like, saying like, okay, well, like saying, for example, um, y'all got to bear with me because this, this is going to be really, really crazy the way I'm going to say this. Saying like, um... Okay, well, he's Mexican and he's a wetback, like that. That makes sense? I got you. It's just, it just sounds real hard. It's just, it, it just, it sounds really, really disrespectful, and I just don't like it. It just rolls off the tongue weird with that ER, and that's what you're telling me? Yeah, it just sounds like he just want to fight you. Just, Is that what it sounds like? It sounds like I'm his boy. I'm like, I'm his, just his whole property, and I just wow. it's, uh, I That's like how you it. take it back to it, huh? All right, so well, that same person I don't like it. That same I person just don't like it. Like if somebody really call me that, like it's really gonna be like time. I promise. That same person. I, just, I don't like it. If they switched it to an A, how do we react then? It's still not okay, but it still says so much to this day that it's not really that bad. Now back in the day, it would have been a little bit, you know, that would have been really really bad. Like say like my grandma's day and age. So like the, say like the Martin Luther King days, that would have been terrible. That I mean, it was still said, but that's it just wasn't a good thing. But now, I mean, I guess it's more accepted because um, it's used in our in our uh, everyday language. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Like, 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 think about it. Like, how many times do we really say the N word? Can y'all really think about that? Like, how yeah, many times do we say the N language, man? A lot of people say it more than they say the. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, uh, it's definitely an everyday language. I agree with you as for the most part, but still, like, you know. It's, it's, it, with that word comes boundaries too like you know you say you accept people who say it as long as they don't say it with the ER as in it being a negative connotation I don't I mean right now as we as the words transform I don't feel like it is a negative word right now you know unless you know somebody was to like say it in a derogatory voice towards you True. like yo mm, you know what I'm saying you know, but like I feel like, and you know, like people try to say it to be cool, you know, to fit in sometimes, or it's part of the culture, or right? just you know what I'm saying, just you know. Why is it so cool? Because it's a part of the culture. Like you know, it's remember just, it became that way. I like like A was saying, like a part of the as it, as it become became a part of the music. You know, people just thought of it as more and more inappropriate, more appropriate, just to use in everyday slang. And so like once, wow, man, once the yeah, once that happened, you gotta get, it, you gotta get used to the new mic. Yeah, once that happened, it it was kind of you know downhill from there, man. It was like who, like who, who you really gonna stop from saying? Like for like for example, I saw a family that they were like, oh wow, they said the N word. Okay, I guess it's okay if they say it to you know themselves and and we don't call them that. But 
I mean, but that was back then. That was a couple years ago. That was maybe like season four. Now they're in season 12. Now it's probably just okay for everybody to say it now. You know, the rap songs came along. They sang it more. I've heard a song called Don't, it's called Don't Push Me. It was by 50 Cent featuring Eminem, and Eminem said the N-word. This is when I was younger. I have not heard that song. song Go look it up. It's called Don't Push Me. I heard a song. I I did um, hear some controversy before, though, with Eminem saying the N-word, or he was saying, uh, he did say the N-word or something like that, and he apologized for it on a track. I do remember that. This still make it okay. Wow. Yeah, man. But, um, <laughs> I, I, yeah. It might have, he might, 50 might have gave him a pass on that. He would have had to, man. He would have Look, had man, to. I ain't gonna say that to 50 Cent. That man got shot nine times. He's still alive. Ain't nothing you can do to that man now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I mean, I guess, no, you said why do people think it's cool? Like, why do okay? people, people would say they think it's cool because just to the fact that if you were to say the word to them, you know, like, let's say if, if he wasn't actually, like, black, you know? And he, you, you were to call him the N word. He would feel as if you know, he's a part of your squad. Like he's your, that's your boy right there. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a big step. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Like, like, he, yeah, he, he got, got that. that, that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's like giving him a certification. Like you know what I'm saying? You cool. That's you know what I'm saying? That's what that is right there. Exactly. And, yeah, like I'm in there. Yeah, and then that's when they get comfortable enough to feel like they can say it back and and uh and they do and. And they really don't mean it in a derogatory way, but they just say it because they get accustomed to it because of you saying it to them. Right. You know, people only they, people only take as much as you give them. You know what I'm saying? So if you if they exactly. see you using that word around, then uh, they're gonna feel as if they're comfortable enough to use the word yeah. towards you. So I got you. I can agree with that. All right, man. I got I got some real I got some different views on this. On the early side, like I try to refrain from using the N word. So when I'm talking about when I say this, I'm talking about uh, middle school, high school. You know what I'm saying I try to refrain from using the N word as much as I can. Like I, I didn't want either one. Like the ER, regardless, I, I knew that the that the damage that that word had done in the past, and I didn't want the new version of it either. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the, of the songs or whatever like that, I just skip over it, pretend like I didn't hear it. You know what I'm saying? But we definitely we, we all knew what it meant to the rappers and everybody out here using it. It's a bro, it's a friend, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You get take it that it's a pronoun for whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to say, but I tried my best to not use it. But as time progressed, um, I found myself saying it, just being around the people that I hang around. You know what I'm saying they're all good guys. There's nothing, nothing wrong with the people that I hang around. We all have um, common goals, and we're all doing something for ourselves. But you know what I'm saying it's just slang. It's it's hold something. On, hold else. on, let me let me let me cut you off right there because I need to ask you a question. Go ahead. Because we were all looking at it as um, why did it like the uh, the other races? Use it, you know, so comfortably. Why do you use so? Why do you use it so so comfortably? Was it like the music? Was it like you said slang or what? Or what happened? Because you said that you didn't use it now and you're using it some more. It I find myself doing that too, but I'm but I need to ask why. It's a good question, man. I, I would say just about you. You hear it all the time, man. When you hear something so much, you're bound to pick it up. You can try to stray from it as, as much as you as much as you want to, but it's always going to be in the back of your head and it's bound to slip out one day. That's what I feel like. Okay. As much as you try to avoid it. If somebody, else, if your homie right next to you, your best friend, he's saying it to you. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't like being called that word, you let him know. But it's, eventually, it's going, you're going to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's true. Like, just like, you know, how if you, uh, like, when you first start talking to a girl or something, and, you know, you got your certain way you, you talk, and she start using your lingo, like, you know. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. all on my like back. Yeah, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> you your hands off me, you know what I'm saying? That, that stuff, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you yeah. talk to people, yeah. it, it just, it, it carries over. That's it, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way uh, it is with, with all, with all, like, you know what I'm saying? With the, with all speech, you know what I'm saying. The more you, you, you around somebody, the more you around somebody. Yeah, around yeah, people, you pick it up. That person. So that's basically how that it was, is. It was, but it's it's tricky though. When I was in high school, it was like um, I went to I went to St. Nature, so it was a real predominantly white Catholic school in the middle of the Cleveland, and I was with a handful of blacks. There. I'm talking about like so we have a uh, we have a how many students were there? Fifteen hundred. I would say well, seventy of those would be black men, black students. You know what I'm saying? Not even fifty. You got fifty out of fifteen hundred. So it's like Heidelberg. Looking at Heidelberg, just about, just about. Yeah. Just about yeah. You know what I'm saying. But with that being the case, race is a real issue. My parents are wondering whether or not people are going to act different towards me, me being a 
token child in that class or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I, I didn't really encounter that type of thing, that type of atmosphere out there. Everybody was real cool, but you did see those. You know what I'm saying? Um, the kids that tried to act cool. It was a, it was with, it was literally like the juice for them. They felt so powerful saying it. It wasn't even power. Like it wasn't power, but it was just like oh no, it was power. It was awesome. It was just it was great, hey, man. I'm cool with Randy, so I mean, I guess I can say it was good. My inwear. No, bro. Like, relax. Like, you don't wow. see me. Like, what? Like, wow. It was like they were reaching. Hold on, yeah. but you can't. Yeah, but I, but I hear, but I hear, but I hear Kendall back here saying, "Wow, you can't say wow because I can name ten people off that of my head right now who probably feel the same way that Randy was just talking about at the school right now. Who you come in contact with every day. I give you ten right now. Definitely. Yeah. So you really yeah, can't man. say wow. You said wow because he hit it. Like, dang, like that's crazy. But right. you look at your own life. Okay, like. Wow, I know people like this. People like that, bro. Who do this right now? Who we just talking about earlier, like for real, like we know. I don't know why they, some people did like. Ah, oh, man, Ignatius. It was a lot of different backstories to that. So a lot of people did have some, some twisted views in their head. Like, um, I'm just saying it, or uh, I'm cool with saying it because that word has some negative kind of connotation in the in the past. But I'm using it, so I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people weren't saying it just to be cool. They had some different interests in mind. So how y'all feel about um, the whole funeral to the N-word a couple years ago? Like a couple oh, years yeah. back, if y'all remember Wait, that. let me slide on. Yeah, they tried to ban the N-word for a minute, man. Yeah, I mean, the whole NF the you know, NFL saying, went through the whole thing where they was going, you know, if the refs heard it, they was going to throw a flag on it. I mean, it was, yeah. just, wow. it was just real, it was a real big thing, that? but I mean. No, I was not aware. Yeah, yeah, you ain't know that. I was not aware. Everyone in their mama would have caught a flag. Yes. No, yeah. speaking of the flag, how, how they had big old funeral. Like, they had a funeral for it. They had a. A tombstone yeah, to the N-word. What? <laughs> Bro, Al Sharpton does wonders. Al Sharpton did that bad. That's Al crazy. Sharpton does wonders. Wow, I'm, I'm un I was <laughs> I'm oblivious to all this that y'all talking about. Y'all don't have to fill me in. Yeah, you definitely gotta hop on the flicks. The NBA said they hear it. The NBA said they hear it. You can find. They really try to still today. Yeah, yeah. They don't play. Yeah, man. They weren't with it, bro. I'm talking about they weren't with the ER or the A. They were. They were. They were destroying rappers. They were saying, "Hey, man, you're not promoting um, uh, good thoughts for our kids to listen to." You know what I'm saying? You're putting negative stuff out there. We don't want our kids listening to it. You should stop saying it as a whole. We're not gonna buy your records. Had moms out there banning. Yeah, they was. Yeah, they was. Um, yeah, they was boycotting a whole lot of records. Yeah, man. A lot all of rappers. All the rappers. A lot. Back. This is recent too. This isn't recent news. This, this is not like yeah. This was like yeah. This is probably like last year. Early last year, early. I don't know. I said like early twenty like, fourteen, twenty thirteen, like, man. No, I'm not saying like I give it like three years. Dude, everybody does it for controversy, though, man. Like, I wouldn't mean, say I that mean, long. Ago. We, I wouldn't say that long. We were still in high school when they were doing that, cause that's when everybody they start saying like ninja. No, we were still in high school. <laughs> ninja. <laughs> uh, but I don't think about it, though, like you know what I'm saying. While while we was playing football, the, you know, didn't the refs like ever tell y'all like he stop saying that word? No. They've never told you that. I've never no. told me that before. I've like, never had you it. Stop you, bro. They don't like, don't like language like that. Yeah, like, you stop that. saying it. Like, like, keep saying that. We're going to throw a flag. Or we're going to have to flag. Because what would they say if somebody else from another race told you that? Then it's a whole Hold on, hold on. No, 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 Every racial slur under the book, but yeah. according to my skin, by a white team, it ain't nothing happened. That's what I'm saying. They whispered it to you. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They yelled. So, oh, yeah, I've heard everything. On. On, on so, we play, for, for example, if I got you and yeah. my teammates listening right, right now, y'all know we play East Lake North. My coach, we had to grab my coach because we almost got to a fight. We was getting on the bus because they called our whole team coons. Wow. And, that's something. and during the game, this dude, like, they, like their coach, kept calling my coach racial slurs during the game. So, his. His little players thought that, thought that that was okay to call us that. So therefore, we start fighting back. So we got flagged for that. Wow. We got flagged. Uh, we had a similar story. I've been through it. My, my mom, my mom listening, she knew what it was because she saw us trying to fight all the time too. And she heard it too. It was to the point where they could hear it in the stands because it was that loud. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No, wait, so wait. Like so you're saying the whole day fans was just screaming that? No. The players on the field. So And they could hear it in so, the stands? So, yo, so your mom ain't never told y'all like... For example, like my mom into the game, she like, oh well, I heard Kendall dogging him, oh yeah, they, he, yeah, he's so funny. Or I heard Randy yelling at him, oh yeah, he's funny. Hey, every man, why you gotta cuss him like that? Da, 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 da. They hear everything. So, for example, um, I made a tackle. Um, the lineman came up and hit me. My guard, well, my bad, my uh, nose tackle came up. Big Johnny came and protected me on that. 
They called him a big black monkey. Wow. Big Black Coon, Jigaboo, Spirit Chucker, all that. Everything in the book, it was yelled all over the place to the point where my mom could hear it. My mom doesn't sit at the bottom. My mom sits at the top of the stands, and she was hearing it. To the point where we all got the way a, on the field, though? On the, fi on the field. It's really, y'all think it's really that loud on the field? It's really not. Like, you sit back and watch a game, it's not that loud. You, you can hear what somebody says. So. Never would have noticed that, though. You got a crazy call. Right? Hey, all, right. all the way on the field, though, that's crazy. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Yo, yeah, we, we, I definitely went through the same thing. Kendall could definitely vouch for that. I remember when we was, uh, I believe we were seniors. We might have been juniors, though. Seniors. And we played, like, Brunswick or, or something like that. And they called our coach uh, the N-word. Yeah. And, like, he was, like, we got in the locker room. He was oh, in the locker room was... going crazy by himself. But, like, it's oh, really man. out here like that. Like, like, like that, that word. You know, it has not died, you know, and, and the, the the pain and, and, and yeah. all the heart that's yeah. in it is still in it. You know, depending on the month it comes out, of course. Um, like when I was in high school, I went on a whole rant for like a year and a half, almost two years of trying to stop the use of the word. And it, it's so like strong. My, my school shaker, like, and there was there, they told me I couldn't even say the word in a speech to try to stop the use of the word. Like, I couldn't even <laughs> use the actual word to be like, hey, everybody, let's stop saying this word. Like, like they literally told me I couldn't say it, and then I went crazy and wrote a whole speech towards the administration about how it's in books and what the all this stuff that they the think. I couldn't <laughs> use it, you know, to try to prevent us from saying it. it but that word definitely, it, it, it hasn't died. It's still just as strong, especially depending on like, like how, if you mean to say it, you know, in a derogatory way, it's what definitely still Probably. just as strong as it always was. Yeah, was and what kills me is, you know, I'm not going to say that I don't use it, but what kills me is like, if you look at the actual definition of what you're saying, the definition of the N-word is a contemptible, inferior, and or ignorant person. Right. So every time... You know, you oh, refer yeah, to somebody, man. or you on the field, and somebody calls you that, or you, you know, are doing anything, and somebody calls you it, especially in a derogatory way. They're telling you, like, you know, you are inferior to me, you are ignorant, you are contemptible, which is like, you know, you just retarded, basically, you know, for lack of a better term, for lack of a politically correct term. But it's like such a strong word, and nobody really thinks about what the word is when they're using it, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand, definitely. You know definitely. What I'm saying? I, I got, a, I got a quick question, though. What made you, you know what I'm saying, you were on the path of trying to ban the word at your schools and in your way of thinking. What made you, you know what I'm saying, wow. keep saying the word to this day? What made me keep saying it was like, after you see that the highest form of authority above you, you know, at that time, won't even support it, it's like, it's, it's impossible to, to make a change that the governing body won't support, you know, it's like, I can, like, literally, I stood up on stage, like, I wrote a play, and in the play, I stood up on stage and, and spoke to over a thousand people with the Shaker Heights High School administration in the auditorium with, you know, those people, and I said, you know, dear Shaker Heights High School administration, um, like, I literally directed it right to them. And it still was like not even acknowledged. Nobody cared. No progress was made. They still shut me down. You still can't say the word, you know. And so it's like, yeah, I can stop saying it, but the way that I'm saying it is not the way that I'm trying to stop it being said anyway, you, right. you know. Right. And Shaker, you would have to go to Shaker to understand. It's like. Everybody's cool. Nobody's like really racist, but at the same time, everybody is racist. Like it's a lot of, you know, like what I think that was Avery was saying, where people are using it and hiding behind the fact that they that it's cool, but really they're using it for those reasons of being able to say it der in a derogatory way without being caught. And like being involved in so many different groups and sports and. Everything, it's like I, I caught that a whole lot, you know, like I was on the rowing team. I was the only black dude on the oh, rowing team, so I caught all kinds of words, 
Hold on, 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 hold on
Wow, of course they did. <laughs> hey, Amre, we can we can go on this topic all day because I know I can, but we really have to go on a break, bro. Thanks for calling, though. I'll be back for the bars. Oh, yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right. Like I said, we really can. I can give you all thirty thousand events, and I'm pretty sure we all can. Yeah. But. We do got to go on break, and I'm glad that everybody, I know people trying to call in. Yeah, we definitely going to continue when we come yeah. back, though. Thank you. Yeah, we got some uh, new cutting for y'all right now. So, uh, turn up. Lock this in. Lock this number in real quick. 419-448-2200. And call in in about 10 minutes. Actually, we're going to check on that cutting. Y'all get it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, somebody sign us off, man. Birds and the bees, y'all. We'll be right back. Wow. How y'all say we got some new cutting and then not play? How many songs play? Three or four? This is the fourth one. Oh, wait. Hey, Black Shade, Johnny K, Diamonds Go for Ray. Hey, Mark Brother in the kitchen whipping sun. Hey, 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 Time, 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 time. Yeah, hey, we gotta let y'all listen to that banger <laughs> that fast. Yeah, man, we had to come back real quick. We gotta let y'all just hear that banger that fast, man. We'll have to hear another one. Something light, man. All right, now. Okay, all right, let's get to it. Okay, we'll back. All right, man. Oh, yeah, before we slide back to the topic, man, we gotta. I just yeah. wanted to hit it, man, because I ain't really say too much last, last the first whole, whole segment of the show. But I mean, on on, on this topic, I think that. No, I want to. No, I want to touch on what Andre was saying before. If y'all was tuned in earlier, he, I, I just think it's crazy that you know he came to the administration trying to ban the word, that's the use wild. of the word, and was denied. Like that's just unheard of. Like I know a lot of schools that went campaigning on the, like to stop the use of the R word, which is retarded. Which is, I mean, I feel. I mean, yeah, that's great. But why should he be denied the right to stop the N word? Like that's it makes no sense. Like I, I feel like if. You don't want to, you don't, you don't believe that the word retarded should be used, then what's wrong with the N word? That's just unheard of, man. That's a real good point, man. That, that's, it's really ridiculous. That story <clears throat> is crazy to me. But um, when I was thinking about this topic, I was thinking about a song um, by Wale. It's called The Kramer. And um, if you guys are familiar, Kramer is, um, he was a guy, the guy on Seinfeld, dude with the crazy hair, the tall dude, he built, acting, having all these wild skits. Wow, I do remember him. But um, he had a, a comedy show. Yeah. yeah he was heckled I by, he was heckled by um, a black man in there, and he, and he just went on a spill about um, about slaves, and he, and he called him the N-word in that rank. And um, he made a song about that. And um, Kanye, or no, nah, what am I talking about, Kanye? Wale made a song about that. What are you talking that. about Kanye? <laughs> I ain't bringing up Ye right now, man. But no, uh, while they made a song about that, and then he he was talking about the progression that the N word can take and it can go in a negative route. He said um, the main point of it was white boys or whoever others we could call them others. He said white boys, but he said they spit it how he spit it. They spit it the N word like they see it in the lyric. And um, his his friends that he's spitting this to, they aren't N words. They aren't of African American descent. So they taking that word and they flipping it and using it with their buddies and everything like that. And as time goes on, that word um, that they're saying, they it just transforms into the ER. They could be using it in a joking manner and everything like that. But on the on the flip side, it still can have that negative um, connotation of, of racism, pure hate in the end. You know what I'm saying it's, it's, a, it's a fine line between it. But he's saying it, it, it shouldn't be a line at all. That's, a, that's the point that that song was trying to get across. But you should definitely check it out. A song called The Kramer by Wale. Real deep. Oh, you know, Kramer, I feel like it's crazy that, that, uh, download it, bro. you know what I'm saying? That, uh, for the show. that, uh, n nobody has called in yet besides Andre. I'm guessing it, n nobody else has, like, and my mom. Don't forget and my mom. mom, yeah. You know, we talk about hard, hard, real stuff like this, man. They, they, be, they be playing around, man. They tuck on the, on the phone lines. I don't that know what why. Doing, man? They must be sliding your messages, Ava. Is that what they doing? My mom is and my little sister is. I know that. Well, go ahead and tell little yeah, sister call me. Yeah, tell little sister call me. Tell little sister call me. Sure is a tucker, man. Oh, wow. She's just going to tuck around. Wow, She's man. chilling, man. Yeah, he, he's going to let her she be for the day. <laughs> she's going to let her be for the day. But, uh, yeah. As far as, uh, as far as the topic, you know, I already hit it. I'm saying, like, 
about how it was a uh, used derogatory or whatever. You know, I was still thinking about what Andre was telling me, you know, about how many occasions he's ran into. And I even had my mom say, wow, because, you know, some of the stuff that he was saying was was ridiculous to the point where I was like, like I can't believe that happened even at Shaker, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, at my school, you know, it's real diverse. So, you know, they, like he said, there was racist people, but they was on, they was down low racist, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. He you know hit racism. Saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't really... You know what I'm saying? People that was out there on some, you know, I just don't mess with any black people, you know, out there saying it probably because they were scared or whatnot, you know, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of the same way here at Heidelberg. You know, people do the same things here. Nobody really touches on it here, but like, you know, here, like, when I, uh, like, the the app Gig Yak, when I downloaded that, yeah, like, man, wow. that's definitely crazy. <laughs> that was the craziest app. You know, oh well, wow. definitely. I forgot all about that, man. Yeah, it was uh, first semester. Yeah, that was definitely crazy. First semester, it was a real, you know. You oh, know, so first semester, it was like an opener. Yeah, it, it was, was a real, opener, man. It was a crazy app because it, it's exactly. like it kind of like Twitter. Saw some people so so where you could just you could basically you like write whatever you want, but it was totally anonymous. Right. Nobody had any any idea who who was, but only thing you could see was like. You can like set your parameters as to how far I, I think you can, but yeah, yeah as to how far you want your uh it's for, it's for, it's for, for, for it to travel. But basically, like it's for your school people around your school. Might, might be some Tiffin University people in no, there. Just in the area. But you know, area. people in your area, you know, around your lo location, that's like all saying things that they feel. And there was a lot of racist stuff on there. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like people would be on there and they say, you know, because you know they're anonymous. So you know when you're anonymous, you got the power. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got when you behind that keyboard, you feel like you got that clip. Just you like got on, the, you got the curse. It's like on Xbox Live. You know they, they call you whatever they want on there. You get the hide. You know what I'm saying? You get the hide behind that screen. And when they when they on Yik Yak, they say some crazy things on there. You know, like. Uh, yeah, man, the black people come in to, to our dining hall. They're, they're so loud, and I just can't take it, and I, I hate them and stuff. All they do is play and, their music. Yeah, they, they, they play their loud music. Or, Don't you guys just hate that black people stink and stuff? And they say things like that. And, uh, you know, I didn't really get upset about it because... You know, you know they hide. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, when you... That's behind, how you really feel. Say, you, it, say it when... Say it, like... Yeah. Expose yourself. Yeah, when you chilling behind the 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 the, the, uh, the, the screen, the screen of Yik Yak, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be me. powerful, but <laughs> you know, I say like I have not heard one person say anything like racist racist towards me, like to my face. To your face? To my face, like yeah, man. nobody has nobody has right? came, nobody has said not here especially, but you know what I'm saying, like like coming to me on some yeah, man. I feel this way about black people. I feel like y'all music too loud, and I hate it. You know what I'm saying? They say it on Yik Yak, but they don't even they won't even have the audacity to say it to to our face. You know what I'm saying? I feel like those people are cowards, man. You know what I'm saying? What you don't be scared. No question. <laughs> they are cowards. That's don't, what they are, bro. Don't be behind the screen like that. Don't be scared. If you're gonna say something behind the screen, you should be able to say it in person or anywhere else to the public. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But and that's just something that, that I just thought about. You know, that I had to hit that because a little little hidden racism. Yeah, that was you know, it's, Heidelberg has a lot of hidden racism. But we know it's still alive, there's, though. There's no blatant yeah, racism yeah. at all here. No blatant, no blatant racism. Not to say that the blatant racism still isn't alive, though. Yeah, but people, they real, the people are hiding, man. <laughs> me, I mean, me only being 20 years old still, I mean, I, I be, I'll come into, like, you know, counters with racism, man. I mean, talking about you, I mean, you know, coming up in the South, you still see them Confederate flags flying. I mean, still to this day, no you know, thing. people got them in the back of their trucks. People got them. I mean, it, it, it ain't, ain't too much change, man, in that. They don't plan on it. But I mean, hopefully, you know, we will continue to take it a step at a, I mean, a day at a time and by exposing racism for what it really is. But I mean, hopefully it, you change some minds, man. That's all we can do. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's all we can do, man. Racism ain't taught. Hey, ain't, ain't born. It's taught. Exactly. It's so, real life, man. Exactly, it's definitely taught. You know what I'm saying? You pick that up somewhere. Like you pick up a most of the things in your life, it's picked up somewhere. Like that's not inherited. You make that a decision, all. man. You make a conscious decision to act, to, to act that choice. You make choice. Y'all know it's how a choice. Is. You know what I mean? We were talking about this the other day. Choice. It's not something that you're born with. It's not something that you inherited. I mean, you could inherit it from your parents, but at a certain point, you become a man or a woman, a grown adult. And you have to make that decision for yourself whether or not you're going to break that mold or um, you're going to become your own person for the better. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, tying into the subject, you know, things like things happen like 
even as far as you know like police you know what i'm saying how how they mistreat us black people you know what i'm saying and i I have an experience that that happened to me uh like last summer where you know i was i was basically racially profiled and 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 they uh they used you know what i'm saying they they basically you know what i'm saying misused the law against me the police as you know i was driving with a couple of friends i was a out at Hiram, and uh, we was uh, we were going home. We were coming from a party out there. Every, worse. Yeah, Hiram's terrible. <laughs> uh, so we was uh, coming from a party out there. I was visiting my boy JJ, and uh, and you know, so we like, you know, I'm coming home, so I'm going driving to Cleveland. The police had rode past us, and we were sitting at like a, a stop sign, you know, uh, about to turn out of the the university, and they were pulling into the uh, parking lot that we were leaving out of. So so we turned out and left while they were pulling past us. And then, uh, you know, we get a little bit down the road, and then they pull me over. You know, they, once they pull me over, they say that they pull me over for, I think they said for running the stop sign or something like that, or, or and then moving within the lane, like swerving within the lane. So, you know, violations. yeah, yeah, some, you know some nonsense, though. So, like, so, yeah, some fake trash. So, fluke. yeah, so, like, so then I, I say, okay, you know, it's, it's, it's four of us, four black people in the car. So, I say, okay. You know what I'm saying? He said, "I want to, I want to uh, breathalyze you to see if you're drunk." I haven't been drinking that day. I, I, I agreed to it. So I said, "Okay." So he just he he wants to uh, he blows the uh, breathalyzer to me. Of course, I blow zeros. And then he was like, he was like, "Okay, that's fine or whatever." Uh, I want to search your car. And I say, uh, "What do you want to search my car for?" He said, uh, "Well, we just want to search your car. We want to make sure there's nothing in there." And I say. You, I, I told him, I said, you have, you have no reason to search my car. I blew zeros on your test. No you know what I'm saying? Cause, there's no, no probable cause. You don't see anything on my floors. There's, you, there's, I haven't came aggressive to you. There's that's no reason man. to do that. You know what I'm saying? And and then that's when he went into, he told me, you know, he was like, uh, we want everybody to get out or whatever. So he made everybody get out the car. He searched all of us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't find anything. So then they just like, you know, can we search the car? And then again, uh, I told them no. And uh, and he was like, uh, okay, well, see, what I want to do is, I'm going to call up uh, another officer, and we're going to bring the dogs here, and we're going to make them scratch your doors until you let us, uh, till, till you let us oh, search your shoot. car. He told to me, he, and it wasn't even my car, my mom's car. I didn't even have a car back then. So I'm like, you, he's like, this man told me he was going to let his dog scratch my paint, my mom's paint, off of her car until I let them look through my car. That's wild. That's ridiculous. Like. I was the I was like I was just I was like I was living. I'm like, I can't even believe this. You know what I'm saying? I I couldn't believe that that man told me he wasn't gonna let me, you know, he wasn't gonna let me uh, leave until he searched my car. So uh, of course at the at the end of the day I had to let him search my car because I didn't want him scratching my mom's paint off. But you know that that's just that's something crazy that happened to me and I couldn't believe it. You know the police are terrible. <laughs> they're terrible, man. You know that they as racist as it gets. You know, and they it doesn't even matter whether they're black or white. You know what I'm saying? They gonna they do whatever they can to get to you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. I mean, I done been profiled. I done been followed. I done been. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, I mean, I I, I can't even count the amount of times I've been pulled over. Not to even say that I had that many tickets, but just the amount of times that I've been pulled over ever since I got my license is ridiculous. And it, and I mean, it hasn't been for you know stupid stuff. You feel me? So it's just like cops love me the most, man. They they do. They really put me over for no reason. I don't even have to be driving. You know what I'm saying? They just see me in a passenger and say, "Oh, you're that Randy kid, man. <laughs> you're that Randy kid. We know about you." And, and this the thing is that the way I knew that they pulled me over for just uh, DWB, which is driving while black. Oh my! I know. I know God. they pulled me over for that because <laughs> they after they searched my cars up, they didn't even give me a ticket for the violation they said I did. They didn't give me a ticket for running that stop sign or, or yeah, they wasted my time out there is what they did. They wanted to look through my car to see what they could find, to see if they could find some beer or something because we were coming from college. They knew I wasn't drunk, but they still searched me. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to, to see what they could find. They was, saw their true motive. You know what I'm saying? They was bored. I got a Hiram story. Do you? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I got a Hiram story. My mom know about this one now. Um, you know, spontaneous summer night. Uh, our school, they do band camp all the way out there in Hiram. So, Dawu, I'm with Dawu and Josh, of course. Every time I get in trouble, with Dawu. Um, he like, well, you know, let's you know, let's go out to Hiram, you know, let's go see the band people. Okay, cool. It's family night, you know, we all go out there. We park on the side street by some dorms. We about to leave. 
everybody in front of us is hitting his U-turn and leave him out to go down the street and leave Hiram. The cops see us go into the car, hit the same U-turn everybody else did, pull us over. Birds and bees, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? What's, what's up? up? I'm on the air? Yeah, you on right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to make a comment on the racism. Um, I attend a predominantly white school where most of my peers aren't experienced, aren't, don't experience um, black culture or any culture that matter. And I encounter racism there um, through social media and through a person. Um, my freshman year, a girl posted on her Instagram page, life is like, life is like um, a box of niggers. Wow. And when I see that, it hurt me. Like, wow. something you could post something like that and not realize it will be hurtful to me or your peers. And I think, and I think stuff like that isn't. It's just ignorant. Oh, I, I can't believe. Wow. Can I, let me ask you a question. That's crazy. Did she get whooped? No, actually, um. Along with that, a girl posted a picture of Rosa Parks. Um, it was a it was a picture of Rosa Parks, and she um edited the photo to place her in the back of the bus, and and put a witty comment under it. I was not remember what it said, but um my parents, me and my parents, brought up to the school staff and the um, yeah, students. They wanted to know what their protocol for this stuff was. And to let us know that, you know, it was inappropriate. And we're sorry. Um, and that was it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that. So, was them saying, I'm sorry enough? No, I feel not. I mean, you can say you're sorry as many times as you want to, but the feelings are still there. Okay, so so was Christy Capley saying sorry and that she didn't know what she was saying? Was that good enough for you? Well, she didn't say sorry. The administration apologized on, for her. On her. Okay. Why? Why? Or, you know, got in trouble for it. She said that she would be called into the office and maybe it would be taken. But I never heard any more about it. Nothing. Or an apology. So was so was Christy Capley saying sorry? Was that good enough for you? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. I agree with you. <laughs> and um, along with that, no. I have a friend that plays softball for the school, and during one of the games, she got hit in the face with the ball, and you know her and her parents are pretty upset because now she has this black guy, and the coach told her. You know, you'll be all right, because you won't be a anyway. Oh, Wait, oh, right. no. Say that again. Oh, oh no. Say that again. Oh, no. Say that again. Say that again. From the ball hitting her. And the coach told her that you would be fine, you know, not to worry about it, because you won't be a seed anyway. Wow. That's to the coach. They got all the jokes over there, man. Wow. That's that, is, crazy. that right there, I would have probably... I, I officially heard it all. No. I would have probably had to move somebody. I can't even lie about that, That's man. crazy. The comments he made... I feel like... It's, it's racist, but they don't realize... But this. How it affects. How it affects us. Like, they don't realize it's wrong. Because they were raised in that type of environment to think that those things are okay. So to black culture or um, African Americans around them, so they don't know how to react. So we giving up so we giving them a pass? No, I'm not giving it a pass. I'm just I try to put myself in the mindset of them. It's wrong. But Racism does exist. Um, my freshman year, when President Obama was elected, um, we did a mock trial. I like a mock election. And I was having a debate with one of my peers. And she was just saying, yeah, your parents are probably going to vote for Obama because he's just black. 
Why would you assume that? Yeah, man. Little flu comments like that, those are the worst, man. Just little side little comments, little snarkles. It's not good for nobody. Sometimes you got it's sometimes it's best to ignore it in situations like that because I mean you can't say they don't know any better, but I will you have to say you know better than re retaliate and scoop down at their level. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just the students, it's the teachers as well. Like my the, my sophomore theology teacher, um, I have a friend Gabby. She's African American and um, Japanese. Um, he pulled her to the front of the class and asked her, um, Gabby, do you have any white friends? And she was like, Yeah, I go to a predominantly white school. And she's like, Well, have you been around their houses before? And she's like, Yeah. You know, they're my friends. She was like, oh, well, you know, usually white people don't want African Americans over their house because they lie and they steal and she's going on like a rant about these characteristics that she assumes African Americans have. And this is the reason why she or a white person would not like them to their home. And these are the things that people brand us with. Yeah, man, that's ridiculous, man. It's 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 stories among stories, but you know what I'm saying the one consistent thing is you being a bigger person about it. And we can definitely appreciate that here in the studio. Yeah, but thank you for thank you for calling in, Levine. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. All right, thank it says call the name of crazy. There really is stories upon wild, stories. Man, it's always gonna be stories upon stories. And it's always gonna be racism upon racism. It's gonna be that until somebody wants to change Amen. and teach their kids that, you know, that's this is not right. This is not the so way to live. Hit, man. Oh, oh my gosh. I want somebody to play. A change is gonna come. I know I got it on there, man. Don't even play around with it, man. Somebody gotta play it. That's what we gonna do, man. I mean we 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 straight this topic off. We straight this topic off. I can't do it right now. But hey, I mean, we stretch this topic on. I have things man. to do on here, this, and this here both. And I'm doing. Well, hey, man, so what y'all want to do, man? Let's go on break, man. If we're going to slide on the break, then we're yeah, going to slide we got, because we got a soft kid your mom. We got a soft mom. I'm going to roll it for there, because we promised y'all some bangers, so. Then we're going to slide man. back, and y'all know what the day is. Where it plays. Oh, we y'all already know, man. Y'all know the number. Quick. Y'all know the number. I want somebody mama calling in today with some bars. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> we, ain't heard, we ain't heard from nobody yet for real, man. We all we got is Andre coming in every week with some fire, but we need some other we need some other people. Need more That's fine. Right. My boy Nick said he was coming in today with We the all bars. have we enough fire it. for everybody. We need it. Alright, y'all, so send us off. Well, I got this beggar for you, mom. You've been thirsty for it, so I just, I just said that. Hey, oh, you just, told her she was yeah, thirsty. Man, we told we told the people that. Yeah, man. I told she was thirsty. She was probably whooped me. No, nah, no, nah, she's thirsty, man. So <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and let her have it. <laughs> Martha means to be right back. Let me see. Drop some bars for y'all. We got a poem coming from Avery. Huh? Oh, we got a poem coming from Avery. Oh, oh, from Avery. Yeah. yeah. And then I mean, I got something like you know. Oh. Ain't no deal. You know, Jews be be down playing this. You know, I got I got a little something something too. Randy no, said it's, it's these two. They got some. They got they apparently got some crazy fire though. So we gonna. Oh, yeah. Randy said he. He wrote some fire when he was taking yeah, it. Uh, we, we probably gonna put them on video and then they going viral. That's, uh, that's yeah, the type of caliber they talking I about. I ain't say all man. that now. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let me give it a shot. Yeah, hey, but Randy said he, he wants us to record, so we we, go, we might have some videos for y'all these raps if we if they good. It might come on Twitter, you know. It might make an appearance. At the spring break, we got the live stream. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Up with the live so stream. what? We come back with the live stream after spring break. You know what I'm saying? So you can see what we doing. All day in here, you know what I'm saying? Get to see what what, what really we gotta do. And I'm warning you, show together. I'm warning you right now. We got a live stream. Like I'm playing little Einstein's, <laughs> and I'm playing the doo doo thing. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, 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 turn up, yeah, hey, hey. oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Hey. 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 hey, hey, we gonna turn hey, up. Randy might even whip in here, man. We definitely gonna, gonna turn in here, man. We gonna have a good time, man. Y'all gonna be able to see if it a part of something. The question is, who's going first? You got a poem. I think you should go first. Yeah, man. You got to set a move, bro. Go ahead with it. Mm. Young man. Ave. Well, we got to make it clear, though. So we're going to go ahead and get ours out the way. And that's what I'm trying to say, man. So hey, it. if y'all don't have the number by now and you have bars that you want to call in with, the number is 419-448-22200. Hit that line right now. You know what I'm saying? It's an ombre. This is not... 
This is not your. This is not your. We want to get a call first. We don't want to interrupt this is not the phone call. That's what I'm saying. I'm brave. I'm brave. My poem is not your typical run of the money dog society. Just let me live. I'm just doing my work, play thing, man. Yeah, yeah. I spent my. I spent my. Yeah, I had to. You doing like a savage? Oh, I know. All right, let's get it though. Go ahead with it. Oh, I know. All right, I'm going first. Yeah, boy. All right. This is not the simple out the ordinary. We we'll put it like this. I'm Superman, I know I'm flying, I know it's kind of scary, but you're my lowest lane, I'm not gonna drop you, you just don't have to trust me. Far from the regular poem to persuade you in my favor. I'm a regular man with great goals, trying to get ahead in life, and duck and dodge a typical stereotype, just to get my 15 minutes of fame in that oh so blinding spotlight. But the question still remains, Lois Lane, are you ready? I'm more of a savage, a Tarzan without my Jane. The old man from up without his cane, kind of like a light skin and my head in the clouds, like my name was Drake, nothing was the same. I'm that starving lion, yeah, you know the one you see in the corner without a queen. You know the one sitting over there, you know, he's trying to get a bone, man. He's trying to over there, you know, he's hungry, he's doing his thing. But enough talk about me. I just had to remind you that it was Wednesday, and of course I'm the wordplay king. And about earlier, were those just my thoughts rambling? I bet it all, you might win, you get it back, you know, that's all the point of gambling. But now while I've been going on and on, and mind this, I'm still Superman, and we're still flying, and this is just still not the simple out the ordinary. Well, turn up, man, bro. Well, turn up, man. Hey, Superman. I'm all up with the cane. I was like, wow. That's what it's doing. Hey, he came. He's doing all up with no cane. Oh, wow. Yeah, he definitely came with some. He came hard, man. He was saving it last week. We won him last week. He didn't come with him, but he made up for it this week. He definitely came hard. No question. I can't, yeah, I can't lie. Every I, I mess with the poem. He came hard with it. Who we about to have up next right now? We ain't got the phone buzzing right now. Randy, so shit. Randy, right, man, I, Randy, let him go now. Oh, bro, I, I think yeah, I, I'll take it. I'll take it, bro, because I'm just coming in with something light, man. I, I can't. We can't split it up with, with with fire. You feel me? So I mean, I, I'm believing in him that he got something crazy, and it's just ridiculous. I worked hard on my poem, man. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, bro. No, no, we, we, we talking about the way. What you think? It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, though. Well, we, we're going to get around, man. Hit them yeah, phone lines. We're going to play around with the bars in there today, man. We don't need that. We're going to get around, though, man. All right, bro. Let me go ahead and slide. Go right ahead, then. All right. <clears throat> Call me crazy or call me a fool. I've probably been in love twice. So I could say it was cool. It's a two-way street, but I really couldn't see. Swerving the crash and ended up looking like a fool. But fools fall in love. Whose line is that anyway? Spending time alone, hoping, searching for better days. Making plays with my partners in these streets. But at the end of the night, I'm alone in my sheets. Man, I all, man, all I really need is a little love and honesty. Compliment my modesty. Show me that you're down for me. And if that's too much to ask, then I can't stress. Because I refuse to lose and I don't settle for less. Well, turn up there. Oh, yeah, there, Juice. It's something light, man. You ain't selling for nothing. It's something light, man. That's all. I ain't selling for nothing out here, cuz. Hey, he said he had writer's block early and he put it through. He did. Yeah, I had crazy writer's block, man. I was like, wow, I'm stuck. Yeah, baby, cuz. Put it through. Nah, I'm good, messing man. with you. That's something do. light. Yeah, baby, cuz. Yeah, man, that was hard, man. Juice always come hard with it, man. You want your mic blow, cuz? Okay, I already said he was on the way to Nest to finish. He said, I'll be way in. Yeah, he takes his way to Nest to finish. What is that mic? That mic is. He's not even on. Did you watch your mic? I'm good, man. I figured you get confidence. This is the one you spit on for so long. Man, man, the fluke mic. That's the fluke mic now these days. Hey, you got the camera on you? Is that what you want here? You I do. Oh, I want the camera on me. Anybody? You should have said something earlier, can bro. We, can we do it again? Can I have the camera on me again? <laughs> can we do it again? You want to do it? You want to do it? No, no, no. no, 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 no Randy. I'll do it later. Go, Randy. I just want the camera on me. I want to go viral. I want to be better than that nigga. Wow. 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 Woo! Yeah, about that thing. Get Avery out of here. Get Avery out of here, man. All right. Yeah, it was me. Just um, I was again rambling, and I didn't, I didn't really have bars prepared for the show, but I came on. You know, is that right? You just thought rambling. Yeah, man. You know me, man. But we we going somewhere, as always. Mom's like my poem. Shout out to her. <laughs> Shout out to mom. Oh, she's listening. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She listens to. She listens to. Well, all right. Alright, y'all. She every with the nice too. She messed with it. That's love. That's love. It's all a game. May crack a smile, but ain't no joking. It's a serious business. So I approach it accordingly. This new wave is born. Boy, it to the third degree. Burn. Anybody in the way of this reception of what's coming or what's next. It's divine. Like when a reverence, with the doctrine, it's the gospel. Follow me. You're an apostle. Thomas Doubt. 
Like you're supposed to stand tall. I know it's tough to read the keys, and you look down at your stance and yourself. You don't believe. Like zip, like oh dude, just bless the bless your presence, and you thinking that you sneeze. Just breathe. I know Tommy might doubt me, but when he's standing it, when he's staring at the shotgun with those hands, he might catch you. Just thinking that you might run. Just know he plays safety. Follow me. Touch. I, follow me. I'll touch down safely. You talking ball? You talking life? Man, I don't know. This dude is crazy. All right, man. Mm. He came in with some. Mm. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, man, I'm so loud I was stumbling, man. Sound like Buster, man. I like he was in there back. Oh, Woo. my gosh. It's time for it. The man? I guess I'm going to throw out something real quick, too. You know. Do we all just write paragraph boards? Come wow. on. Yeah, just paragraph it. Catch you in town. I'm so sorry right now, man. Uh, all right. Hey, will you get off? You got to You know what I'm saying? All right. Shit, you want the Twitter? No, I'm just going to make a little video. We, we all right. You know what I'm saying? I just wrote this too. You know what I'm saying? I was coming when I was going out of my mind. I usually get it down pat when it's time. Tell me ready. All right. Heard the game hot, so I bought a watch. Beat the ice game and cool me down a notch. You need a fat chick with a big butt. I like fat girls because they can't run and they never say a word. You don't even hear no chatter. Now my main chick mad at me. But it don't even matter, caught the big old chunky ring and now she shine like the Green Lantern, always switch up on you make. I can't follow no one pattern, she hit my line up for gas, now she cooling up on Saturn. That's seven rings like Robert Ory, minus yeah. one like pair joints, them six rings if you miss the beat. If you weak man, you better take a seat, unless you got the stupid cheeks and your head dump them. On my Tiger Woods, so I'm fist pumping, I'm a trap jumping on Vince Carter, that's no sense on Dwayne Carter and I'm out. <laughs> I was messing up a little bit, but you know, y'all heard me. Mm. You know, he I came was, back and forth on some mm, yeah. back to back to back to back. Yeah, I was trying to come with some fire on y'all today. But yeah, go ahead, call me in there, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm ready to lay out. Nick ain't text me back, so he probably tucking again. JR, man, I know you keeping up work. He probably can't even hear it. Go ahead, run out to Walmart, man. Uh, it's 955, actually, man. So we might be hearing from JR. I'm I'm man, let's you know, go! I don't even know. Well, we need I'm ready to call first. That way, JR can just be off of work. <laughs> so uh, call in, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to let us know. I know you're waiting on it. There you go. go. Let's roll. Bars. 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 <laughs> I will say, you know, I'm really happy with the with the what with the uh, wordplay Wednesday this week. Everybody worked pretty hard. Um, and before I go, I want to ask you all: Would you guys like the full length or a partial? Because it's a full length piece, so it can get semi-lengthy. It's not too long though. I want it all. Man, don't play around with it, man. Right, I'm going to go ahead and give it all to y'all. I, I, I dug this out um, because it, it, it's entitled The N-Word. I got you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The N-Word. Now, personal regarded as contemptible, inferior, or ignorant. Are you uncomfortable yet? Because the way we use it, I guess it's about time to put our people back in check. So that the box next to self respect can once again probably were a check. And I know you hearing me, but don't put up the two fingers of peace like you agree. When like the Vegas betting booth, you the one holding the heat. The only shots that I'll shoot are at the youth in these streets. So that we can take this, we can't take any more moral defeat. You see, for hundreds of years, my people were shackled by the feet. Picking cotton in the bright sun so that we can't see the answers in the books that they don't want us to read. And he's a strong black man so they know he can succeed. And our bones bent so they know he can leap. You see, slave trade never died. It was renamed. So now you can hypothetically pick Masses Cotton all the way to the Pro Sports Hall of Fame. And these oh, guys man. think they leave us for greatness. But when you hold a whole race back, all you're doing is taking. Taking fathers from the families, and they think the single black mother is angry. Well, that's because the single black mother is angry. And they think the fist is black because the gun is hot, so in jail falsely is where that father is going to lie. Yet another angry and caged statistic whose life was chose for him. And unlike Silver Spoon Billy, he never got to pick it. And while we're on topic, let's talk about the pickets by my people forced into the poor lives of unemployment because of the prices placed on these necessities of my people just to have enough to breathe. And with all of this, why be scared of dogs when it's obviously people that bite you? And why be scared of the former when your own government fights you? And while we're asking questions, why should he feel bad and look back when he's the only black to complete the race through all the character attacks due to the color of his hands and face? I mention these two parts because his occupation requires him to be a man in a suit. So this is what you see. Obama, giving four years to fix eight. 
Now that don't seem fair, but hey, neither is the falsely reinforced hate. Maybe this is why two kings, you know, Rodney and Martin, face such fate, or maybe this is why they back us in the bus, so while waiting to get out, we'd surely be late. I guess they just don't want us to be great, or have we just become too sensitive to racial insensitivity? Who knows? But if we continue to inward this and inward that, it's not our eyes, but our skin that's black, because you ain't my noun person regarded as contemptible and inferior or ignorant. You're just my brother or sister who happens to be black. Oh yeah, and they must be out of their cotton-picking minds if they think I'll remain silent due to the fear of masses new social whips. I now understand clearly how rebellion begins, and I refuse to be handcuffed by society, so I took my pen and used these words as the key to set me free, the N-word. Man. Wow. I remember that rap like it was yesterday. Yeah. 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 I remember that. When I did it to them, because I did the part that actually directly called out the administration, but right. that just fit the topic of the day, so I brought it back out for y'all. No, no, thanks, man. Yeah, good look, good look, 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 bro. For real. You, for real. <laughs> you already know I'll be rocking with you. Well, for sure, I'll be back Monday. Well, no, we're going to be on break Monday, so we got two weeks. Oh, okay, well, then I'll be back then. Yeah, I'm going to catch you when I get back to the crib, though. For sure. All right. But. That's a phone call. JR says on the hey, way. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Birds yeah. and the bees, what's going on? No. Birds and Wow. Birds and the bees, what's going on? What's good? I was trying to call in for the longest so I could uh, you know what I'm saying, set my feet. Well at least at least you ain't gotta run around this time. <laughs> well, right. I was gonna read the tariff for y'all and everything, but uh, you know, before I get started, you know, I was gonna give a shout out to my ex. I guess she was texting me, you know, her boyfriend saw that. And I guess he got all in his feelings, and he tried to like take her phone to throw it. So to give a <laughs> quick shout out to her and her That's sister it. boyfriend. Like, he that. Wow. He said that. <laughs> hey, y'all throw the joint though. And, uh, you know, shout out to y'all doing y'all thing, the birds and the bees. I wish I could have tuned in the whole show, but uh, I'm gonna get into this poem real quick. Hopefully, y'all like it. Hold on one second. <laughs> all y'all ready? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we ready. Come in. All right. <laughs> Hey baby, come in. Hey baby, come in and sit. I think it's time we had to talk. You looking good, smelling good, and I'm loving those new earrings you bought. I even admire the way you walk, and I'm loving it, and loving it. Wow, I even admire the way you walk, and love watching you put on that red lip gloss. And your hair, you probably think, I want you to just cut the small talk. But see, I've been fooling you for a while now, and I think it's making me kind of soft. Now, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, because of how this might come off. You can't ignore all this traffic on the road before we take that route. I just want to look both ways before we cross. Excuse my precaution, I've just always been paranoid. Even though the room was filled with silence, my thoughts were filled with noise. My mom always told me I could do anything I put my mind to. And my dad always told me to wrap my head up when I'm not thinking with the right mind to. I just need to know that you're here for the long run. As long as you fix me to those fucking plate, I make sure my back keeps giving you them home run. Ain't no such thing in strike house when the mic soft but I'm hitting it with perfection. I'm the man in your dreams who's giving you wet dreams and put you to deep sleep like that movie in special. Only ages have been excited to turn was 18 and 21. And I just spent every year to me getting closer to 30. I always hope to be married with kids by the time I'm 30. I'm not a farmer, but I want a man, I want a mind playing seeds besides me. Watch some blocks on the surface to know the background for us to play without its roots. Make sure our kids are set by the time we hit the grave. So I'll be here on earth that you get this money and get paid. Because these days you can graduate with some masters and still be a slave. Mm. All right, dude. Oh, yeah. Hello there, cuz. Oh, yeah. Hey, I like the way you see you getting better. You're articulating your words and everything. See, so, you know, I'll mess with it. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Oh, I wish I could have heard all of y'all phones today, but I was at work, but. I'm sure the, uh, the girl will have it up on YouTube tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah you know, we're going to be on YouTube. It's all good, though. Appreciate it, though. Hey, yeah, no problem at all, man. Appreciate it. But uh, I get up with y'all, man. All right, all right, all right Z. All right, y'all. So you're running out of time. We got another group coming in behind yeah. us here. So uh, night night to, chat. You had to get up. We had to get on the body here. Uh, it was nice messing with y'all. We're going to be gone for a long two weeks, man. We're going to be back, man. I know y'all going to miss us. Yeah, two weeks. We don't want to lose, lose no followers, though. We're going to miss y'all, too, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. good. New no, studio, baby, live stream. It's a lot going on. We got a lot coming, man. Y'all gonna see us in two weeks. It's all good.
So go ahead, sign us on the podcast. All right, man, you listen to Duke, Randy, Avery, and Kendall. We out of here. Everybody, have a happy spring break for y'all. Birds of the bees, y'all be. Why you all whisper, y'all? <laughs> late night chats, baby. Late night chats, boy. Oh, oh.